So, what we're going to celebrate today and talk about is the average horse. Training the average horse. This is an average horse. I've owned him since he was a three-year-old. He's eight now. I didn't keep him because he was average. I kept him because he has one talent. He's an outstanding horse to ride across country. Uh, during the pandemic, the only thing we could really do was to haul off and trail ride by ourselves. And he was my mount as a four-year-old, and he's never looked back. So he was a horse that I bought because he was very poor and thin, uh, kind of a rescue, really. And I figured I'd get him riding and selling. But he was one of those ones who said, you know, if you got a job, I'll take it. So I realized pretty quickly that at that point I was still showing random horses. He was not going to cut that, although he can do now some basic maneuvers. He never would have been a competitive rainer. You can see his natural head position is not pleasing in today's Western perf performance world. And frankly, he's got a head like a claw hammer and a body like a garden rake. So, you know, he's not a great beauty, but he's very functional. And I've found I, I use him for pretty much every little job I have to do. If I want to drag hay bales out to the pastures in the snow, I get slim. If I want to, uh, if I want to pony a colt, I get slim. Uh, if I have to stick somebody on a horse, slim's a candidate. And I value that too. So he's not going to go win you the big horse show, but he is going to be good transportation. And that's still a big thing to me. So why would you bother to train a horse like this and put in the amount of time that I put in with him? Well, if you train your riding horse, whether you're pony and colts, whether you're going to use him for ranch work, whether you're going to rope on him, whether you're going to turn him into a barrel horse someday, whether you're going to take him out across country his whole life, don't just settle him saddle him up and head up across the hills because you're not going to have the quality of ride. He's not going to be as safe. You're not going to be as comfortable. He's not going to travel as well. So even with what I consider an average horse, I think you can put some quality on them. So I want some very basic things, even in a horse that is admittedly average. So I want to be able to trot him around and keep him in the bridle and have him off. I don't want him gaining speed. I don't want him running off. I want him soft. I want him responsive. If he wants to carry his head a little higher than a high-level Western performance horse, that's completely fine. In fact, I kind of like it for a cross-country horse. I think sometimes these horses that have a little higher head around them a whole lot better. So you want to have them doing something as simple as just trotting along, covering some country, and staying nice in the bridle. And a lot of folks who are showering really don't lope their horse a whole lot until they're out on the trail, and then it turns into a stampede. But if you take your horse and you do some circles, you do some transitions, you get them soft in the bridle, you're going to have a horse that when you go across country, or if you're pony and colts who can trot along like this, you're just going to have a better ride. And why would you have an average horse if he wasn't broke? I like a horse to be maneuverable. And this horse is not going to win any big prize, but when I ask him to get around, he doesn't question, he just gets around. And if you wanted to go over and catch a young horse that you were getting ready to pony, or step over and open a gate, 
or take a bottle of beer off a fence post, it's nice to be able to just shift them sideways. And that was a little quick. I wanted it quick, but if you want it slow, you should be able to do it at whatever speed you want. No reason that your average horse shouldn't do a lot of things above average as far as his training. He should back up, and if you need to go somewhere while you're backing up, he ought to steer. And if you're backing up and you see something you want to get away from, you should be able to turn that into a turn. So those are all things that arguably this horse doesn't need to go out and tote me across country. But I'll tell you what, it makes it a lot more fun. And that's where I'm headed right now.